Dagger. Dagger dealt 14 damage. Six. Oh, Dagger actually dealt eight damage. Wait. No. Two damage. All right, let's regenerate. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Now, just because it's a good coffin trigger. Hopefully, no buckler. Okay. We're not getting any space. I guess just go. This is probably strong enough. It's above average. Well, eh, there's no bag of rocks. Maybe they also have these positioned wrong. Hey, mastermind! Thanks for the prime. Thanks for the fifteen. Welcome back. at the end of the turn. Garlic's great. I'll take more space, yeah. And if I want the pan to be fast... Blueberry in the coffin. This should probably just be... Like here. Then we get to go... Garlic. Bananas slow. bother with a dagger, just having this for last potential. You should just be better. Or just pop a banana on him. with the magic staff is it forces me out of the pan now 
I have one blueberry. Hmm. If I had a goober, I'd do it. Man! It's so gross. It's probably better than Pan. storage for a turn. Is there a reason to do that? I'd rather be a little weaker this turn than weaker next turn. The reason we can't play the Stam plus Broom is because of Stamina. It's not like finding more space makes this better. It's just, is this a consistent enough direction to go for? It probably is. Is the Death Scythe chonking me? Rude. That's kind of close. Fuck! We get the second Pestilence. I don't think I want it now. You've committed too hard. There's a Goobert and a Health Pot. I would like both of these. No idea how I'm playing both of these. If I take the magic staff out of the coffin. Throw the Goobert here. Let's play Health Pot instead. more, and speeds up the Gubert more. Pass on that for now. I'll take this one. Uh... Hmm. We need the mana orb for sure. What's more valuable? Probably the mana orb now, right? I kind of need both. This doesn't fit anywhere. Not playing the buckler is insanity. I could sell the extra flasks. That feels really bad. I don't think I want to sell any of the food. Like, selling the pestilence doesn't feel that bad, but... I'm pretty sure these are both long-term on my board. Hmm. Move 
the staff up and the orb up. Buckler find Valor later. I mean, that seems like a scam. Like, it's not even that I don't want to sell Buckler, it's that I want Buckler on my board right now. We see why. <laughs> HP and stamina. This is big after I get the demonic flask. Can I get the demonic flask first? This fixes my mana. Okay, there's my mana problems the rest of the game. Remove this. Back to this. Caliber. Ow. Ow, oh, right. Never not jump scared. I think I want this after on healing. Okay, good, good, good. Where's this thing going? for now. I get struggled here. Staff. Yeah, it's it's rough. Nerf was 
can definitely feel the significance. Pretty sure this is still the board. Get our unhealing, then we look for more Guberts and Mana Thirsts. And gems, I guess. Oh, hey, Mana Thirst. Crits are a strong mechanic. Good lord. Oh my god, I missed. I... I hate magic stuff. Why? <laughs> Why? Accuracy, please! It's so jank. Just not easy win. Uh, I think you need crit for it to be a carry now. It just doesn't deal enough damage. I don't need another pestilence. by itself. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of how it always felt on Reaper. Like, you needed gems and stuff. Finding the mana gen to make magic staff good wasn't easy. Scary, scary. Okay. Did I run the man orb? I'm gonna get the man orb, right? Gubert, the plain Gubert. The best Gubert's probably still Gubert, but. This is a good Gubert with this comp. Should probably have this at the bottom instead of the top. Definitely taking this. I guess I just have to refactor everything, huh? I know it's this. Then let's have the unhealing on the other side. So then we've got. Unhealing... Mana Thirst... Oh, I need a square back here. I 
bit weird that two garlic just demolishes vampire builds. Uh, when the garlics are kind of slow. If you're getting graced by garlics, I feel like your comp probably wasn't very good to begin with. Wait, now there's... Do I need another small? I mean, I guess I can use this and just leave one square. But then... Oh, wait. Uh, it's still probably better. Uh, this wants to be the other way. Because the Gubert's going here. Man, as opposed to prolong fights. <sighs> to an extent, yeah. Vamp is also just Bloodthorn scaling, though. And that's usually a pretty quick comp. If Vamp didn't also scale damage for the comps that want it, I'd agree more. It doesn't deal damage? It does. Like, Hungry Blade and... The, the reasons to build Vamp all deal damage. And those are the main ways you get vamp, too. Like, is there anything else that makes vamp over the course of the round than Bloodthorn and Hunger Blade? Everything else is a one-shot, right? Vamp Dagger. Sure. Even Vamp Dagger is, like, kind of a one-shot. It just gets you four and then stops. Gloves is a one-shot. Happens one time. Four after 12 seconds. If you're playing Blood Dagger and you made Blood Dagger, you've, you're probably stunning them to be getting your vamp a lot faster than that. If you're making a vamp dagger, you're probably getting your vamp before the first cooldown? Like, at the first cooldown? This is so bad. Nothing fits! Ah! But yoink. Got no underspace. I need underspace. If Blood Goof behave plus vamp for activation, it would be much more interesting. I agree it would be more interesting. It would also be way more powerful. Fuck. Poison gem in inventory gives regen into vamp. Yeah, it gives you regen, which you can then turn into vamp. But that's Bloodthorn doing the last conversion, right? Or Hungry Blade. I'm just counting those as the recurring source. Wonder if I want a pineapple. This man orb's fucking terrible. Okay. Hmm. Yep. 
and that is why I don't want to play Hammer Dagger. <laughs> dagger incentivizes Hammer too much. Why play Bloody Dagger Hammer? Well, it's not Bloody Dagger Hammer, it's you play Bloody Dagger in your Hammer build so that you get some vamp so you don't lose to Thorns. It's a pretty important piece of the Hammer Dagger comp, having access to that. Why do I have so much garlic? Don't need to vamp if the opponent's just dead. Uh, are you on Ranger or Reaper? I agree with you on Ranger. Reaper has trouble getting the mana to mass Spectral Daggers to kill them. Yeah, it's a lot easier on Ranger when you get Leaf. But Reaper can't start with mana. Your mana generation's unreliable stuff like Mana Orb. Orb and blueberries is enough. How are you getting enough mana orbs offered to make like three spectral daggers and still have mana orbs? That seems really high roll. Playing hammer, you have pig gold. I don't know. Oh, this can be down. I guess we want gems. Book of Lights, good. Let's get red gems. gold compared to normal. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Feels like a lot of pigs. That also seems like an above average number of pigs. But admittedly, I haven't done Hammer Dagger on Ranger that much. more earlier. That's my initial thought, but hard for me to say. Oh, you're on honor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. That I guess we can take Book of Light. Competitive late game build and ranked? Yeah, of course, but it's getting to that late game. A lot of comps are competitive in ranked that you just never get to build up to because the early game getting into them is rough. But if people aren't playing real boards and you get to get away with different types of greed, stuff looks a lot better. <laughs> Triple Buckler Gamers. Oh, 
gem anyway. with no stun. in somewhere. Good enough. Oh. Huh. Opponent is immune. That is an unfortunate number of books. I'm not scrolling through this to see how many times they triggered. <laughs> Sometimes you're just not. 